Hello everyone, this is Fractal and welcome to episode 6 of Hallsford Hogwarts in Minecraft. And today we are going to be starting off the central tower, which is this area over here. And this is going to be where Ravenclaw Common Room is situated, so stay tuned for that later in the tutorial. And once finished, this will look like this, and I'm really happy with how this one turns out. It looks really, really cool. And so without further ado, let's get straight into it. And so the first thing you're going to want to do is to build up seven blocks from this square we built last episode. This square is going to be outline of the central tower. So what you need to do is build up seven blocks, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And what this is, this represents the kind of wider part of the central tower. This is where it kind of gets wide and then it kind of goes in like kind of one block and then it goes up and then it gets kind of fatter at the top. So obviously you go up seven blocks around this entire perimeter along here. Obviously you can use your fill commands to kind of speed this up. Um, so obviously you can just load in all of these commands with this and obviously fill it in with cut sandstone. Again, cut sandstone is not an ID in bedrock. So you will need to do slash fill sandstone two rather if you are playing on bedrock edition on driver edition it is exactly the same as what i'm doing and so you just need to do this around the entire tower just making sure this entire area is seven blocks higher and then that will look like that and actually i've just noticed along here you would need to fill in this line down here just fill in this gap which we left last episode so just bring this down until you come in contact with the roof below and then when you do just break these blocks down here just make it flush just like so and obviously repeat that onto the other side into here just filling in these gaps, which we did leave intentionally last episode to make room for the central tower. And then obviously just replacing these to make it nice and flush, just like so. And then what you want to do is grab yourself some smooth sandstone stairs. And base just along here, just build all of these along on each side. Basically just like kind of like a pyramid, but just like kind of one layer, just to make the central tower one block thinner as we go up into the next section. And just a quick reminder, if you do need help or any support, feel free to join my Discord server to join an epic Harry Potter community. We're approaching 400 members now, which is absolutely insane. And if you would like to support the channel, I highly recommend pressing the subscribe button. It really helps us out. And now that we've built this kind of stair area, we can now build up the main body of the central tower. And so what we first can do is just build a ring of cut sandstone just around here, just as a base for what we can build upon for the rest of the central tower. And I might as well mention this really early in the video. Yes, I will be doing a tutorial of main interior locations. I will not be doing a tutorial of the entirety of the Hogwarts since that would take years, I must be honest. And so that is not just, it's just not possible for me to do. However, on my main driver map, which I'll be making in the last series, that will have a fully explorable interior. And then once you have done that ring, you need to build up 14 blocks. And this is the main body of the central tower. And an interesting side fact is this area does get kind of shorter as you go late in the films. In the earlier films, it is much taller. While however, in the Heart of the Prince and the Deathly Hallows, it does get shorter. Noticeably in the Order of Phoenix and the Goblet of Fire, it has five kind of floors of windows in this in the main area, which we just start to build. However, in the Heart of the Prince model, it gets shrunken down to three main floors of windows. Just interesting side fact for you guys would like to know. Anyway, so what you can do is obviously build up 14 more blocks. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. All you need to do is just fill all this in. And so as usual, we can use our slash fill command. So let's take these three corners down here. And actually, a quick side note, you can do this really quickly, actually, just in two commands. If you do this and you take this diagonal corner here, you can fill it in with cut sandstone again, sandstone 2 on bedrock edition, and fill that in. That will fill this in as a solid area. And then, however, what we can do is take this corner of this inner block just here, and then it becomes the underside break here, and take this block right here, again, diagonally away from it. We can fill that in with air. And what I'll do is it will hollow this entire area out. So instead of doing four commands, each for one side, we did this entire area in two commands, which is, I think is pretty neat. And then what we can do is we can start to add in the windows. And so for the windows, you'll grab yourself some black stained glass. And then optionally, you can grab yourself some birch fences and some birch trapdoors. These are kind of optional. They kind of increase accuracy, but they kind of at the same time, they do kind of make it a little uglier. However, they just increase the accuracy, which I'm really focused upon. And so all we need to do becomes this area. We can go across one, two, three, four blocks down one and then a window just like that just like there and of course on the other side as well so one two three four down one and then a window there and obviously just repeat this onto the other side so one two three four down one and a window there and then onto this side as well and then you may as well do it on this side as well so just there and just here and then the main windows on the actual central tower which as mentioned before, there are only three floors as compared to five in the earlier films. So all we need to do is come in two blocks along here and then come up three blocks and punch in a two by one window just there. And then coming along one, two, three, four blocks. On the fifth block, you will break a two by three area. This should be in the center of the central tower. 
And so what you can do with this window is slightly different, is grab yourself some black stained glass. And so you will place this behind. The reason we're doing this is because we are going to be placing some stuff in front of it, just to increase the accuracy on the shape of the actual window. So a really nice trick I like to use is to use trap doors to make stuff thinner. I think it's a really nice trick and it does work really well. Rather than using birch fences, we can actually grab some sandstone walls and place these in between. It's a really neat technique since the trap doors do thin off the window, making this look like a one by one window that's kind of like here rather than here, which kind of makes them closer together, which is kind of really accurate to central tower design. However, of course, the birch trapdoors, then they look kind of ugly, so it's really up to you what you want to do. Of course, you can do something like something like this if you really want to just avoid the ugliness. It's just not as accurate, and I don't really like it, but it's up to you. And then, again, coming up with four blocks, we can place our third and final window just like that. And then, basically, our floors, they are going to be two blocks apart. So if we go up two blocks, and then we can start the exact same thing, move along, breaking in a 2 by 3 area and then building in the window behind and in the walls and the trap doors just to thin off the windows and then you can go ahead and go four blocks along and then place in this window along here and of course repeat the same thing on top with the window there four blocks and then your two by three just there and then of course the black stained glass behind and then the walls and then the trap doors which are optional and then of course the final window which is just there and so those are the three main floors and windows of the central tower and so what you need to do is you need to repeat these on all four sides unfortunately there is not a rotate command in vanilla minecraft so you will have to do this by hand and so i will see you then once you've done that and so after that you need to build the kind of top area of the central tower so what you need to do is just place one block here and take the corners of this block in the full command and then move over and place another one here and just fill it all in with cut sandstone just like so and then just if you went in we to come back out and so what you should do is kind of reverse the effects we did over there and just make it kind of just one block thicker down at the top so obviously you can use two thousand stairs just build this out all the way around here and just wrap this all the way around all four sides of the tower just like so and then moving on to the kind of towers and the roof on the top we can start kind of laying out our like kind of layout which is going to be on this tower so what we can do is if we come in two blocks just like so and then place one block here we'll come out three blocks just like so and so the layout of the towers is a three circle which just looks like so and then what we can do is just go over to here and build the exact same things so another three circle just like so which has basically a diagonal going along like this so again you come in three and then one just like that and that is your first point in the circle and then you build out two and just create a circle with side lengths of three on each side just like so and of course again onto the final side just like that and then what we can do is just build a line just to add in the actual place where the tower is going to actually start and that is the main layout of the central tower so this entire area is nine blocks tall so you will need to build up eight more blocks so one two three four five six seven eight and then just fill that for the entire tower and that will look just like that and then to kind of add to the effect of the actual towers we can go ahead and add in some stairs so one like that and then just kind of going around kind of building them at kind of whatever angle you really want as a general rule rotate 90 degrees every time you place one of these stairs and they just kind of add in the shape of the tower itself and so just go ahead and build those around. It doesn't really matter what orientation they are, but just something kind of like that. And then we can get started on the kind of main window. And I'm going to take this as where the kind of Ravenclaw common room is actually situated. And so what you can do is grab your smooth down stairs and just build three in the center just like that. And that will kind of take you to actual main window. And so this window is a three by six area in this wall. So you will knock out a three by six area. So just like so. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and then a three along the middle. And then behind it, you will place in your window, which will just kind of go up to cover this entire area. So again, this glass window should be three by six. And then you can grab yourself some of your birch fences and just build up a strip along the middle. Again, this is optional, but you can add in birch trap doors. Just kind of add that kind of division in the window. I personally really like the effect it has, but I can understand if you do not. And then just finish it off, you can add in some sandstone stairs just there and just there. Just kind of add in that kind of shape of the window. And then going up on each side, you can add a strip of sandstone walls, just going up until you reach this height here, just like so. And then in each of these towers, there are kind of two floors of windows. And so in the interior, these are kind of going to be staircases going up to the common rooms. And so you'll go up one block and then smash in a two, two by one window, 
then go up another block and then smash in another window. And of course the same on this window as well. And then of course this entire attention tower is perfectly symmetrical on all four sides. So you will just go ahead and repeat this onto all four sides. And so once you have repeated this onto all four sides, we can go ahead and grab ourselves some sandstone slabs, just like so. And we basically will just build a kind of ring around the entire central tower, just kind of add some 3D texture and some just kind of some depth to the build. These will just wrap around the entire tower, just like so, not in these windows areas. Just kind of around these like kind of four towers that kind of surround the tower itself, just like so. And that will look just like that. And then we can kind of add in the caps of all of these kind of central windows. And so what we can do is place some sweet sand stairs, just like so, and start building a pyramid just like this. Kind of building in one just like so and then as you reach the top just place a cut sandstone block and then a sandstone slab on top just like so and then behind that just fill it in with whatever you want to be honest and then what i do just as in texture is i add in some smooth sandstone stairs just like so this is kind of too thick so go ahead and just build that up just like so and that will look just like that and then wrapped around the entire tower is this kind of layer of stairs and so what you will do it will face this way, it just kind of creates curved stairs just like that, and then facing this way, and then just build these around the tower just like so, wrapping it around just like so. And of course, when you reach Sarah, you will again start another one of those pyramids, and you'll build it up until you reach here, where you place a cut sandstone block, and then a smooth sandstone slab, and then a sandstone slab, and then of course, you can build anything behind it. And of course, you'll make sure this is two blocks thick just like so. And then if you want for de extra decoration, you can just punch in two stairs just like that. And then you will continue this kind of wrapping around of your stairs until you reach your next area, which is will be here. And then you just build in your third pyramid, which is above the central window, just like so. And then fill in the gaps and then carry on the pyramid just like so. And then again for decoration, knock in two stairs just in there. And then again, carry on the stairs looping around until you reach the fourth and final pyramid kind of area and so again build this up and then cap it off with a sandstone slab and then this extra kind of layer behind and then stairs to add in depth and then of course just keep on looping this around the entire build until you come back to your first one that you built just like so and that will look just like that and so in this tutorial we will kind of build on the roofs of these four towers and then in the next episode we will work on this main roof so it's quite large and quite complicated and so the first thing you're going to want to do is to grab yourself some of your roof blocks so we'll grab ourselves some dark oak planks i can never find them where are they they are there some dark oak planks and then an anvil if you want, and then a dark oak fence, and then a stone brick wall. And so the first thing you will do is just build up two blocks on, on all of these sides of the tower, just like so, just like that. And so obviously these just be a circle just on top of all these stairs. Obviously we did not add the stairs onto this area on the inside, but it's pretty obvious what you need to do. It's like up three and then one and then three, just like so. And then you will add a block onto all four of these sides in the center. And then building upon that, you will build a 1x3 line just like that. And then two blocks on top and cap it off with a block on top just like so. And of course, just repeat that onto all four sides just like that. So basically what we're adding is a 3x3 square just in here with a block to cap it off. And then in here, you will build a kind of ring just like so of one layer and then add another layer just like so and then go up two blocks just like this and then two blocks up here to cap it off and then a stone brick wall and then an oak fence and then an anvil if you want and then another dark oak fence just like that and then of course what you need to do is you can put this onto all four sides this can use the clone command and so what we can do is if you grab any block i'm just going to use glass and you kind of can see the outline and so we will take our first coordinate of this which will be here so slash clone and take the three coordinates just there. Nothing will happen, that is fine. And then you'll go out to here and just build up until you are above the kind of tower. So about there will be fine, you can smash all of these again. And then take the coordinates of this block right here. So that is a three blocks just like so. And then using the same principle we use, we need to go to the exact same block on this tower. So this will be right here. I think we can agree this is the exact same block as where it will be. However, this is obviously going to need to be one block below us. 
since we're going to be standing on this block and running the command and so make sure all of your commands are correct having your three squiggles and press enter and it will summon in this tower and so what you should do is you do that onto all of these sides and so if you come into this one the equivalent position is of course over to here just there i think you can agree that it's the same position obviously place a block underneath it and then stand on this block here and of course just run the exact same command just like so if you're on console i'm not 100 sure it would be night need to type it all in again i'm not sure about how that works in console obviously on drive edition you can just press the up button and it will load in our last command and then the exact same thing here build out this position here which is in line with this line here and this line here and build down one block stand on here and run the exact same command and there you go and then you can just go ahead and smash all of these glass blocks which you've already placed in and voila that is those four towers kind of turrets of the central tower now done and so that will round off episode six of house of hogwarts in minecraft with this area in next episode we will work on the roof which is the main roof of the central tower I'm sorry if this was a bit short, remember we're getting pretty busy, and I'm trying to keep out to two episodes a week, so I'd rather have two episodes which are kind of shorter, rather than one longer episode, because it's just kind of easier to edit and it's more kind of spaced out over the week, so that should look like that. And so, I want to thank you guys very much for watching, if you did enjoy the video, please just subscribe, leave a like, comment, and of course, if you did get stuck, you can go ahead and join the Discord server for support, and just join a general epic Harry Potter community. And so, I want to thank you guys very much for watching, and stay tuned for episode 7. And I will see you then.